This will be the first time you realize fear. Eventually it will be quiet, it will be dark and you're in the snow. I was born for the mountains. I can go away from the mountains but just for so long. Then I have to be back. Rudy is a guide's guide. Successful, almost a bit of a cult following. Physically strong, demanding of his guests and everyone around him. The guy had, you know, half his foot cut off at one point. It was going to be amputated and he insisted that it be sewed back on. I didn't want to sleep in a tent all my life. I looked at all the maps and I found this spot in June of 1985. I built a chalet to be able to live in the mountains with my family. My kids, they know how beautiful mountains are. They also know how dangerous they are. Things can go wrong. Regardless of how much you know, you cannot make the mountain safe. When you marry a guide, you live with the fact that he might not come back one day. In the Canadian Rockies, the winter danger includes avalanches. I remember thinking to myself, okay, I'm near the surface, they're gonna find me. And I sort of blacked out. I turned into my absolute biggest enemy you can ever, ever imagine. You know, you question yourself, uh, wow, you know, maybe guiding is not for me. I believe that mountains have energy in them which gets passed on to us as we travel in it. Come here, Paula. Oh. I believe mountains are fully alive. All I love is my family and the mountains. In this world I know. You start walking up and one step after the next and your mind starts thinking about the most amazing thing. It's my church, mountains. This is what they believe in.